I'm Miss Hanif um, and I'm a year four teacher at Cross Gates Primary School, which is based in Leeds. Fantastic. So could you tell me what were your first impressions of Climate Action Farm in a Box? Um, well, we had the box delivered last week. Yeah, last week, middle of last week. And um, I opened it up and it's literally like when you open a new package, it's like Christmas, isn't it? Um, it's so well resourced. Everything was in there. Um, I didn't expect everything to be well resourced as it was. Um, and such good quality of uh, the printouts, uh, the cards, um, and yeah, I, I was just, I was just amazed at how how much was in that box. Um, Fantastic. And it and the, the thing is, I actually printed out the handout and then realised actually it's given to us. <laughs> it is already there. Um, but yeah, it, it, you don't need to do anything extra at all. It's not additional work. It's um, it's supporting what you already have. Um, yeah, so I did find it very exciting to open. Oh, fantastic. And what were your children's, your pupils? What were their first impressions? Well, we've named our plant. So they love the plant. <laughs> we've named our plant Minty. And um, they absolutely love looking. That's the first thing we took out of the box. And then we said we should give uh, the plant a name. Um, and then we collectively decided that we'd call the plant Minty. Um, and they absolutely love looking after Minty. They're like, uh, if we're too loud, Minty, you know, Minty's going to get upset. Very heavily involved in year four. Um, and just uh, like, for example, when we did uh, one of the activities that involved uh, the thermometers work in the soil, um, and all of these are all provided in the box, um, they hadn't they hadn't handled a thermometer before and for them to actually be hooked in on something like that and read a thermometer you know obviously it's involving maths and things like that um yeah they absolutely love it and it's quizzes it's not just um it's, it's a range of activities that it incorporates and they have enjoyed the field work going out on the playground um you, you know we did the we did the quiz today uh, what is it task i think it's task three four uh where it, it's all about the greenhouse gases um and we were just talking about it and and it's just interesting to see what what kind of things they come out with and what kind of differences they're going to make and and i said well why don't you go away and think about the changes that you're going to make and hopefully collectively that will make a difference um and they, yeah, they, they are hooked. They're loving it, absolutely loving it. And we've created a display. We've started our display as well. So we've got lots of photographs on our display. Um, and I said, every time we do an activity, we'll add to the display. Fantastic. Now I've seen a few of those photographs um, because I think yourself or somebody in your team has been busy posting um, photographs to Twitter, which is- absolutely. Oh, how we've been getting connected which is so brilliant to kind of see what you've been getting up to and um i did see the children today um doing the greenhouse gas reduction game and it was all perfect and um yeah absolutely fantastic thank you for sharing those with us um so you told us a little bit about how you've been using your box so what are your future plans with it would you like to use it again or do you have any ideas well i did say uh, i've been speaking to my colleagues and i said well because we i've had such a successful journey with it obviously i don't mind sharing them resources with the other teachers because and i hadn't realized how much it is ticking off still some of the objectives that we are covering in year four for example our next topic in science is states of matter and today we spoke about gases so it is bringing up conversation which is also meeting our year group targets um so i was like i'm happily going to share the resources with the other colleagues and see if they can what they make of it what and if they give it a go and see what their classes think as well so that's my aim um and obviously keep looking after minty <laughs> i've never looked after a plant so it was a big thing for me as well um that's yeah it. so we're watering it 
So we're, we're making sure it's all right at the beginning of the day, during the day, at the end of the day. Um, yeah, it's been great. And actually, um, we actually just had a little conversation before this recording, didn't we? And you were talking yeah. about how the, how much you're learning yourself as a teacher. Absolutely. That, yeah, so is there anything that you can um, talk about there, the things that you've discovered? There's that word in one of the videos, and I, we were trying to remember it in the morning. You know, in, in the video where it's climate change, and it talks about how it's not too hot and not too cold. What's that word called again? And I was like, that. Ha I, by the end of this, I have to make sure that word sticks in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will actually get back to you with that word. I will. I'm going to watch that video again. And I said, I said, by the end of this whole thing, I definitely want to learn that word where it's not too cold anymore and it's not too hot. It's like medium. And, I, and she used a really big word. And I thought, I've not heard of that word before, but it's a word that describes the weather right now, which is true. And there's other things that I've learned, for example, the whole language about input processes, output, um, and just just other other stuff like um, how much bread you can get out of uh, one meter square. And even I was shocked, just as well as the children. And then we measured the playground. Um, and to make it easier, we measured um, the basketball court as a rectangle. Um, um, so get incorporating maths in there, getting length in there. And then we came back into the class and we calculated actually how much bread are we going to get out of that basketball court? And they were just shocked by the figures like, whoa, is that it? <laughs> wow. So all of this like knowledge is, is just as fascinating as it is for the children, for me. Um, so it's brilliant. It is a journey. So a learning journey for me as well as them. And do you feel um, already at this stage, do you feel that you're becoming more confident in teaching about climate change through the lens of farming and food? Yeah. It definitely it has increased my confidence um and the thing is the the videos support that knowledge so it's not as if um i'm having to research learn this information myself first as the children are watching the video i'm watching it with them learning the information as well and then often i will i, I watch it once with the children and then we watch it again and we pause it and ask questions and talk about it um uh, and then really take in that video and that knowledge and there's information in there that I didn't know <laughs> so it's great. It Fantastic. great so could you tell me um what have the children enjoyed the most um, so far I mean I know you haven't completed all of the activities but what have they really what's really struck a chord with them I think I can't really pick what's been favorite um because it's just such a variety of different tasks. Like today, we uh, we did the the quiz. Um, there's been times where we've been outside on the playground. Uh, I sent some children outside to collect the leaves. We started that off. Uh, we left uh, a beaker of uh, the green leaves in a dark cupboard today, and we said we'd check in the morning. Um, so it, it's a rain. They've been enthusiastic throughout. So I can't pick a favourite. And is that, is that different to, to normal activities or do you have a highly engaged class anyway? Or um, do you, have you seen a difference? I have seen a difference. When it is something hands-on, they absolutely love it. When it's practical, when it's... Um, and, I, and I said this, I said, like we had, because obviously it's math week this week as well. And I said, well, math is all around us and it doesn't have to be a textbook and answering questions and stuff. It can be practical. It can be fun. And it's same with this. This learning can be fun. You're still learning um, and it can be practical. And they have enjoyed it. They have. Um, and they talk about it all the time. And I've, I have had parents to the door saying um, sh my child's come home and told me all about, you know, farm in the box. I've got them saying farm in the box as well. Oh, well, that is an absolute <laughs> joy to hear. Uh, yeah, so it's been great. It is. I was having a conversation with one of the parents and um, she was saying that uh, one of the children had um, come home and said all the activities that they'd done and what they'd learned in, with farm in the box. And the mum was saying it. And I was like, yeah, but we're doing farm in the box. Look at our display so far. Absolutely um, wonderful. Yeah. That is great. That's it has been great. It has been great. So 
Um, having started the box, I'm not yet completed, but do you have any tips or advice for teachers who have not even opened? Well, I think most people have opened the box, but have not yet started the activities. Have you got any advice for them? The only thing I would say is just start because I feel like now I've started. I'm just hooked. My, I'm hooked myself. Um, and, and I try to get through like at least one lesson or one session a day. Um, even I'm, and because they've been drawn in, the children have drawn, I don't want to lose it now. Um, and I don't want to miss a day where, and, and I know they would ask, well, Miss Hanif, why haven't we done farm in the box today? Um, just get started, honestly. That's all I would say. You will experience the journey yourself. That's great. And then is there anything else that you'd like to add about climate action? No, box? I, th I think I just, yeah, I'm just really enjoying it. Um, it is. It has been good. Yeah, it has been good. Um, and, the, I, and I can definitely tell that the children, are, and it's the children that um, that it's a, a engaged that won't often um, that you can't often get them to do maths by sat at a textbook or, or you know worksheet or questions and stuff. But they're highly engaged with like measuring the playground or uh, and it's them learners that love that practical that are really involved um, and they like the responsibility so uh, for some children uh, this afternoon I said well why don't you go in groups and go and collect some leaves that, and bring them back and then we could put them in beakers and, the, and they love the whole like right okay we need to do this now and then we need to put them on the windowsill and, and they love that the roles um, so yeah it's been I haven't got no complaints. I've just enjoyed it so far. And do you think that kind of learning, do you think that will have a lasting impact? Yeah, 100%. I think, and the thing is, it's provided opportunities that we don't often teach in the curriculum, that farming experience. Um, I mean, I've been a teacher and I don't think I've, what, five years, but I don't think I've ever covered that aspect of linking farming in with, for example, greenhouse gases, with photosynthesis, with other aspects of the curriculum at all, with bread making, um, things like that. Um, so it gives you a real insight of another world out there. And, you know, obviously it's interesting and the children are very hooked, as I am. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, and um, absolutely fine. you've surely inspired us. So yeah. I, I think I can speak, I think with confidence that you'll inspire a lot of other teachers who are watching right now. So thank you so absolutely. much. Absolutely. Yeah. You're absolutely very welcome. <laughs>